All right, guys, after last night's video, we cleaned up in here and cleaned up the floor. All this drywall is stuck to the hardwood, so hopefully it just comes off when we sand it. But for now, I have a couple hours before I have to get ready for work, so I am going to try to get the yard mode. I know I love mowing now because of the mower, but you might be able to tell it's getting a little shaggy. to get going on the bedroom. So first up on the agenda is to get this hole in the hardwood floor patch. Katie bought that board last week. I just haven't done anything with it. So today we're gonna cut it, make it fit in there. This piece is going to go right in here, but I have to cut this like that to, to make this open a little bit further. The first piece is in. That was pretty easy. So gotta go cut a second piece to fit in here. It's actually narrower than the board is, so I'm gonna have to get the table saw out and rip it down to fit, but you can see the fitment isn't perfect, but um, once you, once I get the other one in there and sandwich them together, it'll be pretty close. And, and this wood grain, I don't know if you can tell, but it matches pretty good to what this wood is. So the biggest problem I have is that they have installed some, something under it and it's adding a little bit of thickness to this wood, whereas this wood is the same thickness as this. It's just, I don't have this paper that they use and I don't really have any way to put a paper in there because I have to glue this to the subfloor. Whereas this stuff, I don't know if you can tell, but it's nailed in there, probably right in here or maybe it's gone in from the other side, but um, we'll see, we'll figure something out. Bam! Looks good! So I haven't attached them to the floor yet and you might be able to tell there's a little bit of a lip there. So the floor is not gonna be perfectly flat. Here it's gonna probably dip just a little bit because like I told you earlier, the there's no padding under this. Um, but I did notice that they just nailed these from the top. So there's nail holes all over the place. I think I'm gonna carry that pattern along. Um, I'm gonna glue it so I'm gonna just run some wood glue underneath these, put them back in and then run some finish nails down through them. I forgot to tell you guys, I cut some of the rubber stripping that was under this and put it in the middle to kind of hold up the middle and it seems to be working pretty good so I'm gonna leave it and I'll just glue over the top of it and hopefully it works. I want no squeaks. Come look at the floor. Okay. Come on. I'm relaxing. Come on. Come with me. Okay, I will. Come on. I'm coming. Okay. You better come. Come quickly. 
It's waiting for you. Does it look good? Good. Better. Good job, babe. Well, thank you. We went to Home Depot and got a bunch of pink stuff and we got the ceiling fan. Not the one we really wanted, but we're tired of waiting. We just want to have it all done. So we got the wood looking one, not the, the black with the wood look. So how do you feel about it? I don't really care. <laughs> So we got paint stuff and we're gonna get going on the bedroom. So we got all of the trim that's still on the walls. We got it all sanded and Josh has been putting up um, the brown paper to protect the windows and some of the floor so I'm gonna get started painting <laughs> 